सुप्रभातम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्लांट्स एंड मी दिस इज डॉक्टर श्रीदेवी फ्रॉम मंगलोरो कर्नाटका इंडिया माय फ्रेंड हैड गिवन मी अ राइजोम कॉल्ड एज वाइल्ड जिंजर आई हैड प्लांटेड इट इन अ ग्रो बैग जस्ट पुस्ट इट इन टू द ग्रो बैग शी हैड गिवन मी अराउंड टू और थ्री राइजोम्स आई पुट इट इन अ ग्रो बैग that grow bag had a very loamy or clayy type of soil somehow the rhizome sprouted in it recently i saw that whenever i was watering the grow bag water was getting clogged it was standing on the surface of the potting mix it was clogged so i thought i would repot that wild ginger so let's get started so i am taking a wideish tub like pot it is about a foot in height and 12 inches or maybe 14 inches in width and it has got a drainage hole here i am obliterating the drainage hole with this piece of coconut shell we need to close the drainage hole because once the plant start growing and it starts putting out uh, roots the roots will if this hole is open the roots will go through it and it will block the drainage hole and the what whenever you water the plant the water will start getting uh, stagnant on the potting mix so that's why i have obliterated that drainage hole now the reason why i am using this tub like pot is the plant is a rhizome the plant has a rhizome so rhizome means stem so stem will be branching so once the rhizome starts branching it needs place to spread so in a, a longish pot a, a pot which is more in height than in width then in that pot there won't be any space to spread or the rhizome to branch for example this pot it doesn't have space wider space so what will happen the rhizomes will not get place for spreading there is only depth there is no width so that is why i have chosen this wide tub like pot now around uh, at the base i would be putting these leaves these are the leaves which have been cut from a tree so those were trimmed so i am putting it at the base so that it forms a good manure see the chip has moved you should be very careful i'm keeping it back so i'm putting this and covering the base so you don't need to cover as such i this was there so i am covering it so at the base this will form the manure when they rot they will form the manure so there were quite a few leaves uh, yellowish leaves of that plant so i have put all those at the base now i would be preparing the potting mix so this is a very big pot it will require quite a bit of potting mix so this is the amount of potting mix i would be taking now i would be adding vermi compost which would be almost equal to the amount of this potting mix because these are rhizomes and they need a lot of food material to store food the rhizome store food so they require in turn a lot of food material so that is why so much of vermi compost i have taken now i am mixing both these
it has to be mixed very carefully oh one more rhizome is there but this just didn't sprout as such only one rhizome sprouted so this has been mixed nicely now now to be on safer side and to give it a good drainage i am adding one fourth quantity of sand because mangalore has got heavy rains so it needs a well draining potting mix otherwise water will start clogging and uh, the rhizomes might rot i'll get back i needed both my hands to mix this so i have mixed now this is quite a good well draining potting mix now i would be pouring this into this pot so i have filled this pot with the potting mix you can see it is almost full now i need to keep this uh, in this pot and then fill the remaining potting mix but before that a trick to save the rhizomes during the rainy season would be to add sand at the place where we want to keep the rhizome so i am keeping the rhizome like this and it is surrounded by uh, sand why i have kept it in bit in the center of sand so that the sand will allow the drainage of water and in and around this rhizome there won't be any water clogging water logging should not be there for rhizomes so that is why i have kept this sand alternatively uh, charcoal pieces can be kept that will also absorb charcoal pieces in fact absorb excessive water and they act as anti fungal i don't have anti fungal right now otherwise we can add anti fungal in this but later on when we are watering we can use uh, water in which anti fungal has been added for watering this plant so i am covering the rhizome with sand yes so this is the rhizome which has sprouted so i have covered it there was other rhizome which i got i can keep it near this my friend see this had become a little soft so this may not serve oh it has already started rotting so i am not very sure that it will be alive oh it has already rotted so this will not be of any use yes this is the problem if the soil is not well draining i told you i put it in a clay soil somehow that rhizome sprouted but this rhizome is rotting usually rot is because of fungal infection fungus starts growing so this starts rotting so when i was watering the water was not getting drained properly so i guessed that there is water logging and so it needed repotting so this has gone waste but nevertheless i will keep it in here if any chances of sprouting is there it will sprout but otherwise 
this will act as manure so i have kept all the rhizomes here now now i will cover the remaining portion with potting soil so it's done now i have finished repotting the wild ginger sunlight requirements the plant requires full sun about 6 to 8 hours minimum sunlight is required in fact in the wild it grows in full sun the whole day the leaves will be exposed to sun that is about the sunlight in fact i have kept the plant in full sun right now i would be keeping in shade to enable it to overcome the transplant shock later on i would be shifting it to a full sun spot what are requirements it doesn't need much water it is a rhizome obviously the rhizome will rot if i give it water continuously even though the potting mix is very well draining that is about the water requirements in fact it should be watered when the potting mix gets completely dry continuous wet potting mix might induce the rhizome rot rhizome is actually a stem which has gone underground and it starts storing food material uh, food material in the form of carbohydrates so if there is continuous water in the potting mix the rhizomes will rot that is why we have to wait till the potting mix becomes completely dry it can tolerate drought type of condition that means less water conditions rather than over watering that is about the water requirements nutrition these are heavy feeders and that is why i have added so much of vermi compost the vermi compost which i have added will be enough for about 2 to 3 months once the plant starts putting out branches in the ground that means throwing out new rhizomes it will use up all the vermi compost and at that time i would replenish it with extra vermi compost even cow dung manure can be used that's all it requires for the nutrition sake once the plant matures it will give out inflorescences that was the repotting of wild ginger thanks for joining take care bye